Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Oh, hi, Mark. Okay. So this is a fight that we've been waiting on for a very, very long time, boys. Practically the best part of eight years is how long we've been waiting on this rematch. The best part of eight years. The first fight, Chocolatito. He was a two-weight world champion at the time. He dragged Estrada down in weight. The fight wasn't controversial as much as people tried to tell you it was. Chocolatito won that fight eight rounds to four. But both men landed, and I'm going to say this, for my own punch count, not comp box, because that's trash, over 200 power punches in that fight. Since then, both guys have improved facets and lost. Now, at this stage, one's a two-weight world champion and a certified pound-for-pounder, and the other man's a former number one pound-for-pounder, and if you have him on your list, no one could deny that. He's also a four-weight world champion. This fight literally, literally has Hall of Fame implications for both guys. If Chocolatito were to beat Juan Francisco Estrada, nobody could possibly deny him being the greatest flyweight of all time or in the conversation of greatest all-time flyweights at all. Nobody could deny him being in that top three vicinity. His resume is stellar. If Estrada wins, it essentially cements his legacy and puts him into the Hall of Fame. Chocolatitos is pretty much already there. According to CompuBox, according to CompuBox, for a career on CompuBox numbers, nobody has landed more power shots to the body than Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez in CompuBox history. And nobody has landed more right hands, right hands, straight right hands, than Juan Francisco Estrada to the head, according to CompuBox. One's come forward, one's back foot, the other one wants a war, the other one wants to box, but gets dragged into wars. They're both susceptible to being hurt. They've been down a couple times during their career. One guy's been knocked out. They're both powerful. And if you don't watch this, fuck being a hardcore boxing fan. You ain't a fan of fighting. You ain't a fan of fighting. Because this is an absolute war absolute war and I for one can't wait. I don't care if you're a hardcore, a casual, an MMA fan, this fight is better than everything that's happening this week. What up everybody in the YTVC, this is just a quick channel update. So yesterday I uploaded my little promo for um, Red Glove Media, which is just a little something I'm doing on the side to make some extra money. Uh, right now, I mean, I, I'll say this, I'm not going to take on any new customers because my first customer is uh, <laughs> kind of, he asked me for like uh, multiple intros, which is fine. I don't have a problem with people doing that. It's just it's gonna take me a little time um, to get all three done, and then I'm trying to do content in between. So this is new territory for me. Um, but once I'm done with the first customer, I think things will open up a little bit more. But just hang tight, anybody who is interested, because um, I've had people. Some people express some interest um, already. I had people who ex express interest even before I I even kind of put this out there. But um, now it's out there. There's some more people who are interested, and that's good. I'm, uh, you know, it's good for me. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, please bear with me because I'm gonna need some time to adjust on how I do this stuff. 
because I do still plan on putting out my own content. Um, so that's for me to kind of figure out. Um, but for that reason, right now, I need to knock out what I have on my plate right now. And then after that, well, um, I'll be taking on new customers. So I do appreciate everybody who expressed interest. And um, we'll see what happens going forward, like uh, how I'm going to do this. But um, on, on top of that, I need to, I will be <laughs> needing to figure out how I'm going to balance putting out content and taking care of everybody who who um, is, com- you know, commissioning me to do some kind of editing for them. I say intros and outros, but I'm willing to do other stuff too. Um, You know, if it ever gets to a point where somebody wants me to just edit all their shit, (laughs) then I don't know. I don't know that I'll be able to do that because then that means I'm probably not going to be able to edit my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, It might have to be a collab thing. Which is perfectly fine. I'll, I'll expect to make less on those projects, but um, you know, if if you're recording the shit and even doing some of your own editing, and then you're passing it on to me to do shit, then I I understand. I'm you're doing you're doing part of the work. Therefore, I shouldn't get paid as much as I would if I was doing the whole thing. Makes perfect sense. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a very reasonable person, and here in the beginning, I'm not going to be charging a whole lot of money. Uh, later on down the line, I might start charging more, but here, we're out, this is the startup, um, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to treat it like a startup. Anybody who comes my way, they're, um, they're going to get a, a very fair price, I'm not... I'm not gonna act like I have a big old production company and I I didn't go to school for none of this or anything. It's just all self-taught. So yeah. But to the content, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to still put out content the best that I can. I don't want the content to suffer too much. When I say suffer too much, I'm talking about quantity, not quality. I I always want the quality to be there. But um I mean Regardless of what happens, it'll be more content than what I've been putting out <laughs> in recent months. Um, so it'll definitely be more than that. But I try to stick to a Monday through Friday schedule best I can. Kind of took last week off just because um, I was getting back in the swing of things. I didn't want to, you know, burn myself out. So that's why I took last week off. But I'm trying to upload something every day. On top of that, take care of my um, my business. <laughs> it's a lack of a better term. I, I can't really consider Red Glove Media a business. Not at this point. The startup. It's me. Just you know, saying, "Hey, you can commission commission me to do some editing for you," and then depending on what the you know how daunting the task is then we'll um you know that's going to determine the price if somebody wants me to work on a whole documentary then shit like that i'm not opposed to it but it's going to have to be at a pace that works for me i I gotta still be able to put out um you know content and possibly take care of other people i'm sure as i do it more i'll become more efficient um, you know, that's with anything. Practice makes perfect. Perfect. Uh, practice also helps with efficiency. If you don't do something often, it's gonna take you longer to do it than if it's, if it's something that you do all the time. So, <clears throat> makes perfect sense. But I will do my best to still put out the content. I will do my best to still contribute to other people's channels. You know, you got people who are showing me love. I gotta show love back. Um, so I will. I try to. I try to match the energy that the best I can. Sometimes it's not. It's, 
it's not going to work out quite the way that I want it to. But just know that the intentions are there. <laughs> um, right now, as far as YouTube is concerned, I'm in a good place. I don't really have any real enemies. I mean, there might be one... There might be some people who see me as an enemy, but I really don't see myself enemies with anybody, you know. There's people, I don't watch their content because either it's not for me or I feel like they're pushing an agenda. But I don't go and make videos about them. I don't go and I don't wish no harm toward them. I just, I just hope that they see that there's a better way to do things, you know. You can speak your opinion without acting like it's fact. <laughs> I mean, it's it, what a concept, right? So, but yeah, um, I hope everybody's doing well. But that's basically the update. I'm, the update is, I don't know that I'll ever be able to get back to how I did things before when I hiatus. But I will do my best. But as people express... Um, that they want uh, intros, outros, and whatnot, then that's gonna take time away from my channel. And to be honest, I don't make no money off my channel. I'm gonna be making money off of this editing that I'll be doing. So I have to, I have to try to balance it the best that I can. But that's the channel update. But um, <clears throat> you know, y'all. Y'all feel free to leave a comment. Also, you know, if there's anything that you could think of that, that you know, suggestions as to what I could do in my current situation, meaning kind of putting more on my plate than what I'm typically used to, but not wanting my, my content to suffer too much, um, please, I'm, I'm definitely open to suggestions on that. But other than that, you know, I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace. That's why I'm undefeated.